And looking ahead this Friday is Legal Resource Day. That's a chance to get free legal information and advice from local experts. With us this morning to talk more about this event is Judge Dennis McGuire and Lisa Younger Anderson. Good morning to you both. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning. Yes. Thank you for having us. Hey, what can people expect during Legal Resource Day? So Legal Resource Day, this is about our sixth year in person. We're glad to be back in person after you know, going remote or virtual, if you will. So they can expect 15 minute free sessions with an attorney. We'll be offering classes where they can get some information and learn more, get help with their documents as well. What are some topics that will be covered? Uh, we're gonna have uh, classes on guardianship, uh, the small claims court. Um, What's that? Eviction. Evictions. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, when they talk to the, to the uh, ask a lawyer, they can talk to them about almost anything they like. How long has this been, event been taking place and why is it so important to the community? This event has been going on for well over 10 years and it is pro bono week across the country in the state of Colorado. So not only will Colorado Springs do it, it'll be available for people in Denver, Pueblo, et cetera. But it's important to the community because it's our way of giving the community an opportunity to get help with their legal matters. You said this is pro bono, so it's free. Yes. Right? Okay, what's a, a typical cost to meet with an attorney and how are you guys able to provide this resource for free? Uh, well, cost for an attorney, it, it depends on the type of case and it depends on the attorney their, and uh, their own personal fee schedule. Um, but cases can last, uh, cost anything from uh, uh, lower thousands to several tens of thousands of dollars. Depending. Very pricey. Yeah. Quite, quite pricey. And uh, we rely on volunteers uh, to put this, uh, put Put this function on. Uh, we have a great uh, number of attorneys that that come in, give their time to us, and give their time back to the community, so everybody can have access to the courts. How many Coloradans choose to represent themselves in court, and how does a day like this help them out? Well, I think that uh, in just by way of example, a domestic relations case, the vast majority of the cases in domestic relations, from paternity to child support, all the way up to dissolution of marriage, and beyond that have at least one pro se led against. So one person's representing themselves in almost every case. Mm -hmm. um, these types of cases, and that includes in, in small claims, it's mostly people who are representing themselves. This gives people the tools or the knowledge that they need to at least get the ball rolling, to, to understand the, the process. Okay, Judge, what are some of the common mistakes you see when someone chooses to represent themselves? Number one is not being prepared, not knowing what they're doing. So if somebody comes in and represents themselves, I have to hold to the same standard as I would an attorney. They have to know mm -hmm. the same rules. And so it's, it's not educating yourself, it's not taking advantage of the resources that uh, the community has to offer. Is it necessary to sign up in advance for this day? Great question, no. We're happy to help them when they come in. In person, we'll have people in the jury room where we're gonna meet and the West Tower, they'll be able to walk in that day and get all the resources and help they need. Okay, just a walk-in basis. Are there appointments that you can sign up for in advance if you want to, or is it just walk-in? Walk-in. Okay, all right, good news. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, Again, this event is gonna take place Friday, this Friday from nine to two. You can learn more by whipping out your phone, scanning that QR code you see on your screen right now, or there is a website to visit. We're going to be sure to post all this information on our website as well, fox21news.com.